Today is your last chance to order free COVID-19 at-home tests from the U.S. government. Starting tomorrow, those free tests through the United States Postal Service, that will be suspended. Since January, COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations, and deaths, they've all been trending downward. Joining us to talk about this and our other health headlines, Dr. Bill Hartman. He is the clinical trialist at UW Health. Doctor, great to see you. So the government Thank says you. we're past peak of COVID, but it's still floating out there. It's absolutely still floating out there. And, and in fact, uh, just last week uh, throughout the United States, 17,000 people were still hospitalized with COVID. And so it's something that we still have to uh, keep on our radar. We still have to uh, be aware of it, be cognizant of it, uh, and, and test for it. Uh, despite these tests going away, the, the free tests going away, uh, if you have symptoms, it's still very important that you test yourself for it because there are vulnerable people uh, uh, out and about. And uh, the virus is going to affect d different people uh, very differently, and some of them quite tragically. And so uh, do the best that you can to, to protect your, your family, yourself, and the people around you. If you have symptoms, again, uh, test to see if you have COVID-19. And if you do, uh, remain uh, at home until you're symptom free for at least 24 hours. It takes like a minute too to sign up and get these free tests. So you got today and tomorrow, so maybe you should go on that website and do it. But then after that, you know, your insurance company might pay for some of the tests, right? That 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 is very true. Uh, the insurance companies uh, will likely have to pick up uh, some of the tab uh, going forward. Uh, one thing that's important is that if you haven't ordered. Uh, any of the tests at, in this this latest round of free testing, you are eligible for eight tests instead of four, uh, as long as you get that that order in uh, by tomorrow afternoon. I like all things free, so I'll stuck up on anything. Hey, interesting news about how COVID may be affecting our next flu shot. Talk to us about this, because it turns out a certain strain of the flu appears to have disappeared. Right. So while it's quite debatable on how effective the social mitigation factors of masking and social distancing, et cetera, were on COVID. Uh, and I think that there's good arguments for, for both sides. Uh, it's clear that these mitigation factors had a very positive effect on other viruses, uh, including influenza. Uh, in particular, this Yamagata virus, which has long been part of the B strain of uh, flu viruses that's been part of the flu vaccine, uh, it was sort of dwindling before the pandemic started, but because of uh, these mitigation factors, the masking and the social distancing uh, and the staying at home, uh, the, the Yamagata virus has essentially disappeared uh, throughout the United States and throughout the world. And so it's been recommended and voted on uh, by the FDA to remove this uh, strain now from the, the, the flu vaccines going forward, uh, which really will make these vaccines uh, a three-strain vaccine instead of a four-strain vaccine. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Dr. Bill Hartman, appreciate your time. Thank you.